In this video, you're going to learn how to write a trigonometric expression as an algebraic expression, and we're going to go through two examples together. So let's dive into this first example. How do we figure out how to write the sine of arc cosine of 2x as an algebraic expression? Well, let's start from the inside and work our way out. When you look at this arc cosine of 2x, arc cosine, remember, that's the same thing as the cosine inverse of 2x. Right, And what does the cosine inverse uh, tell us? It's saying that we're solving for the angle. So what this is really saying, cosine inverse of 2x, it's saying cosine of what angle, I'll just call that angle theta, equals 2x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a triangle uh, just like this. We're going to say, here's our right triangle, here's our angle theta, and cosine, you can write this as 2x over 1. Anything divided by 1 is itself. So the cosine of this angle is the adjacent side, 2x, over the hypotenuse, which is 1. Now if we want to solve for this side right here, let's just call this side A, we can do our Pythagorean theorem. We can say a squared plus the quantity 2x squared is equal to 1 squared. Okay, so a squared, 2x times 2x is 4x squared, 1 times 1 is 1. Let's subtract 4x squared from both sides. So we get a squared is equal to 1 minus 4x squared. And if we take the square root, we get a equals the square root of 1 minus 4x squared. So that's what this side is right here. Let's just write it below it. So 1 minus 4x squared. Okay, so now that's what this arc cosine represents. It represents this angle right here. Okay, because our cosine is saying cosine of what angle equals, right, 2x over 1. So now we say, hmm, what's the sine of this angle? Sine is the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So that gives us square root of 1 minus 4x squared over 1. Of course, anything divided by 1 is itself. And so we get square root of 1 minus 4x squared. That's an algebraic expression for this trigonometric expression. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So for number two now, same idea, the arc sine, well the cotangent of the arc sine of x minus one, start from the inside, let's work our way out. Arc sine is really like saying sine inverse of x minus one. This is just a different notation, arc sine or sine inverse, it's the same thing. But sine inverse means that we're solving for the angle. So this is saying sine of what angle equals x minus one. Okay, now if you're not sure about this, it's a little fuzzy still. See, imagine if I was to take the sine inverse of the left side and the sine inverse of the right side. See, the sine and the sine inverse, those undo one another and you get theta equals sine inverse of x minus one, which is the same as arc sine of x minus one, right? So going back to what I wrote originally, the sine of theta equals x minus one. Let's go ahead and draw a right triangle the sine is the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Now remember, anything can be written as a fraction by putting it over one, so the sine is opposite over hypotenuse. We want to solve for this side here, let's call it b. Let's go ahead and do our Pythagorean theorem. So we have uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is in this case one squared. So I'm just going to leave this as the quantity x minus one squared. Uh, Okay, and then what we're going to do is let's go ahead and subtract the x minus 1 squared from both sides because we're trying to get b squared by itself, right? So we've got uh, subtract x minus 1 squared from the left and subtract uh, x minus 1 squared from the right. So we get b squared is equal to 1 because 1 squared is 1 minus the quantity x minus 1 squared. Take the square root of both sides, square and square root undo one another. So we have b is equal to the square root of 1 minus uh, x minus 1 squared. So that's this side right here. Okay, so now that was a little bit of work to get to this point, but now we're going to say what's the cotangent of this angle? Because remember the arc sine that was actually solving for the angle, that's this guy right here. What's the cotangent of this angle? Well, we know tangent's opposite over adjacent. Cotangent is adjacent side over the opposite side. So this is going to be uh, the square root of 1 minus x minus 1 squared squared over x minus 1. Now, you can simplify this a little bit further if you wanted to 
foil out the x minus one times x minus one and subtract and you can simplify it down a little bit further but I think for right now I'm going to stop right there and you got it. So if you want to see more examples about how to rewrite these tree expressions as algebraic expressions I'll try to put a video right there for you so go ahead and follow me over to that video we'll get some more practice and I'll see you in my other videos. I'll talk to you soon.